Hello everyone! Um, I have a very exciting video. I recently got my first ever Influencer Vox box, which, if you don't know what Influencer is, it's a company which other companies use to send out PR samples to people. So, say, like, a makeup company comes out with a lipstick, they want to know what people think before they actually launch it, or they want to get more reviews out before the actual launch, that's what they'll use besides sending it to other people on their PR list, like bloggers or YouTubers and things like that. I got the L'Oreal Paris Extraordinary Oil Box Box. They actually sent me three products. They sent me the shampoo, the conditioner, and a hair serum. So I'll be talking about each of them a bit. How I feel about them. So, what it claims? It claims that daily care for dry, lifeless hair, lightweight, non-greasy. It has argan, chamomile, coconut, amla. Not sure if I'm saying that right, and I'm not sure if I'm saying this next one right. Soja could be soha. And sunflower. It has all those oils in there. I have this thing where my hair can get very greasy, and especially with certain shampoos, it just, I feel like I'm out of the shower and it's an hour later, and my hair just looks disgusting. This stuff doesn't do that. This is second day hair. I didn't use any dry shampoo or anything, and I think it looks really nice. Another thing I like about it is it doesn't weigh my hair down. I have very fine hair, although I have a lot of it. So it's kind of like the quantity of my hair is what makes like my ponytails thick, not the actual thickness of my hair strands, if that makes any sense. Yeah, this stuff doesn't weigh it down and make me look like I have a limp noodle on my head. It makes me look like I have actual hair and my hair looks bouncy and pretty. So I really, really like that. The smell. It's kind of coconutty, but also like a little bit vanilla y. And I definitely think that this could be a gender neutral shampoo. However, the conditioner, to me personally, does smell a tad bit more feminine. I don't know why. It almost smells a bit more flowery. I don't know, but if you're ever in the grocery store and you see them, um, this is they, what they look like. Conditioner, shampoo, and you're just curious, um, I just grab one and kind of sniff it and then put it back, and if you want it, grab the one from the back because that's what I always do. I'm pretty sure that's not technically allowed, but they do have a rather more liquidy consistency. I'm guessing that's because of all the oils that are in there, but it's not to the point where you like pour the shampoo on your hand and you're afraid that if you make the slightest movement that all your shampoo is going to just like slide off and you're going to be like stuck up a creek without a paddle. But so a little more runny than I typically go for, but I do, I don't mind. It doesn't slide off. It, yeah, it's good. And then the conditioner is also a little bit more runny, but again, just as long as you don't like, aren't, I don't know, doing the macarena or something in the shower, you'll be fine. Um, they also sent this Extraordinary Oil Lustrous Oil Serum. They couldn't have come up with a better name. It says that it instantly absorbs, transforming dry hair strand by strand for weightless, silky shine. It actually describes three different ways you can use this. It can be used before shampoo to nourish and protect hair, before styling to control and discipline hair, or as a finishing touch for exquisite softness, softness and lustrous shine. The way I've used this so far is I've used it after I blow dry my hair because I always get like little frizzies and it's, mm, I don't know, it really bothers me. And whenever I point it out to like say my roommate or a good friend of mine or any friend I guess I don't know no one ever else seems to really notice or they think I'm being silly so I probably am but it is one of those little vain things that I'm self-conscious about so 
this is a really good job of just smoothing it down but not making it look oily or just like there's product in it. So I really like it for that. Um, and I've also used it beforehand. That works as well to kind of smooth everything down. So either way. I kind of liked it more before because I felt like it gave my hair a little more oomph somehow. So I think that's how I'm going to continue using it. I've not tried it before shampooing yet. I think I might try that like tonight or something. All in all, I can I recommend this stuff. It is not cruelty free as it is from L'Oreal. L'Oreal does test on animals. Will I purchase it? Probably not just because I don't want to put money towards a company that does test on animals. However, if I ever, like, if my mom ever buys it for me, or if it's on sale, I can never pass up a good sale. It's my one weakness. But, yeah. I enjoy the smell. I enjoy what it does. So, I can't complain. Yeah, and I think that's everything on my list. Oh, also, if you want to check out Influencer, I'll leave a link below. I get points or something if you use it, but that just increases my probability of getting another box, which means more videos like this. So if you liked this video, click that link. So anyway, I will see you in the next video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!